What's up Overlanders? Alright, so super excited. I got a new water port and it's black. Uh, it's gonna look way better on the side of my truck. Um, so my only issue is it can't mount on the side like it used to because of the tent that looks super ghetto right now. It'll look better tomorrow, I promise. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing to mount on the side. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is putting these L brackets on here, like what I used for the awning. And that'll kind of create a uh, flat surface on the outside. It'll keep the water port from hitting the car and keep it lower than the tent. Um, only issue is this L bracket doesn't have enough doesn't have enough unistrut behind the bolt where the bolt connects the unistrut to the to the rails. So I think I'm gonna take that bolt out and put a longer one in so I can get that bracket there. And well, I'm probably not going to post this video if it doesn't work the way that I want it to, but um, I'm filming it just in case. We'll see what happens. Oh, this will also help um, when I get a second tank. I can put one here and then two more L brackets up front. Sweet. Okay, so I've thought better of my silly plan of sharing a bolt for the water port and the crossbar, the Unistrut. So um, instead of that, what I'm gonna do is cut one of these guys in half, attach it to the Unistrut on the other side of the uh, Rolla basket bar so I can easily get to the bolt on the other side. And then I'm gonna attach these two together like that. See how it works. All right, so I cut that long piece in half so that I could stick it on my two L brackets, pretty much effectively just extending the L brackets. And then I'm gonna use this unistrut that I cut shorter as um, kind of a backing for the water port to sit against, but also to add some rigidity um, to these L brackets. You know, since there's multiple joints, I don't want them shifting or turning or anything like that. So I'm gonna put it up now. And in case you don't know what Unistrut is, it's this really cool stuff. It's steel, it's galvanized. It's not gonna rust except for on the very end where you cut it. The cool thing about Unistrut is, other than the fact that it's strong and fairly inexpensive, um, is are these nuts that you can stick into uh, the, into the strut channel. Check this out. So you can stick the nut in there, and it's got these grooves on the side. So when you tighten it all down, it cinches up against the Unistrut walls, um, pretty much making it like Legos. All right, I got the brackets up here. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. But anyway, here's, um, you can see where I extended the L bracket, Unistrut. This'll, little, this'll serve as a backing for the uh, water port to sit against, as well as just making it a little more rigid. So let's strap this thing up. All done, strapped up, works great. Thanks for watching.